multiple stockpiles. In this example, multiple stockpile volumes can be calculated with one option, automatically creating all necessary tins of the bases and tops of the stockpiles. A volume report will be created for each stockpile and volume text will be placed over each stockpile. We're going to create a new project. Select new and we're going to return to the volumes folder and select the folder and we're going to call it multiple stockpiles. and click New. Again the Setup Project Details panel and the Recalc panel won't be used and we'll be working in Plan View 1. So we're going to drag and drop our file in from our working folder so select Explore Project icon, go up to Volumes and drag in multiple stockpiles.12da so we don't need to do any other input here, just select read and finish. So what we have here are five stockpiles. If we go to our minus button, we've got two models, surface and surface points. Okay, so we simply run a single option for this under volumes, stockpile. In this option we're going to simply select the data that's on the screen. So we select the view icon and select view 1. For this program to work the strings around the stockpiles must share a unique code. So if we look at the names you'll see the names are SF Toe. So they must be the names for the stockpiles. You cannot have toes within the actual stockpiles themselves. The models for tins, we'll just type in in lowercase tin stockpiles. We're going to create the base tin. The model for the text will just be txt stockpiles. the base string name, so what we can do here is we can either type it in if we hold the cursor over the cell and middle click we can then pick and accept on the string and it will load up the code. The report file will be stockpile volumes we don't need to put a plan in the report file. The view to add, we're going to automatically add text to view 1 and we'll just change the text to text whiteout 2.5. The stockpile tin colors can be magenta. Number of decimal places 0 and we'll start at stockpile 1 click process. So it automatically opens up the report file showing the stockpile numbers, the volumes, the base area and the surface area and also the maximum heights. If we return to the job you'll see that it's again calculated the volumes surface area and maximum heights and put them over the actual relevant stockpile. 